Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529, Central Virginia's high school academic quiz show. Today's match features Luray High School versus Douglas S. Freeman High School. Hello and good morning. I'm Cheryl Miller. Thanks so much for joining us here on Battle of the Brains, where we're celebrating our 20th season of producing Central Virginia's only high school academic quiz show. So happy to have students back here with the studio, us in the studio after two seasons of virtual matches. Our competition welcomes teams from schools all across the Commonwealth of Virginia. The academic athletes joining us today are the Bulldogs of Luray High School, coached by Gwen Burley and Anthony Hammer. Luray High School is one of two high schools in the Page County School System. It was founded in 1903 and serves about 550 students. Also with us today, the Mavericks of Douglas Freeman High School, coached by Jason Abril and Orion Altman. Freeman High School is in Henrico County, which is adjacent to the city of Richmond. The school offers a specialty center for leadership, government, and global economics. And by the way, a team from Freeman won Battle of the Brains last season. Good to have all of these students here with us today. Our match will consist of three toss-up rounds and a category round. Players who wish to answer will buzz in and wait for me to call on them. Any interruption of questions with an incorrect answer Answer, though will result in a point deduction. There is no deduction for an incorrect answer for a completed question. All right, teams, good luck. Let's go with the first toss-up round. Hattie McDaniel was the first African-American to win an Academy Award. She won the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for what 1939 movie? Annabelle. Gone with the Wind. Correct. This shepherd was killed by his older brother, Cain, because Cain thought about his brother's sacrifice. Annabelle. Abel. Correct. Americans buy more avocados for the celebration of Cinco de Mayo than for any other yearly event except one. What is that sporting event? Marlo. The Super Bowl? That is correct. There are 46 chromosomes in the cheek cell of the human male. If this cell were to undergo mitosis, how many chromosomes would be found in each resulting daughter cell? Marlo. 23? That is incorrect. 46. Anuj, that is correct. Starring Sean Connery, this 1962 movie with a negative title was set on the island of Jamaica. What was the first in the James Bond movie series based on a novel by Ian Fleming? Uh, we still Jack. have somebody buzzed. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, and, you never get me sorry. and Jack, I think you tried to buzz in. I did. Is it Mission Impossible? That is incorrect. Freeman? Never Annabelle? Say Die? It's actually Dr. No. In 1962. Sorry, All right, what is the smallest interval possible in Western music? Anoush. A half step. That is correct. First released in 1937, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs was the first of Disney's full length animated movies. Which of the whistling dwarves is the only one without a beard? Dopey. Jack. Dopey is correct. He's the youngest of the dwarves. Scientists say plants have a 24-hour biological clock that tells them late morning to prepare for the sun by adjusting chemical processes to give protection from high light. What word, beginning with the letter M, names this total life process in both animals and plants? Annabelle. Meiosis. That is incorrect, Luray. Marlo. Mitosis. We're looking for metabolism. In Greek mythology, who was the handsome mythological youth who, after being killed by a boar, spent half his time with Aphrodite and half in the underworld? Annabelle. Adonis. Correct. The Beatles was at Candlestick Park in 1966. The Bands was at Winterland in 1976, known by the film The Last Waltz. Both bands gave their last public performances in what city that witnessed the formation of the Grateful Dead in Haight-Ashbury? In Annapolis? Yes. That is incorrect. Freeman? Annabelle? Seattle? It was the city of San Francisco. Its function is to provide the cell with chemical energy in the form of ATP via cellular respiration. Anoush? Mitochondria. That is correct. All right, you may need your pencil and paper for this one. What is the value of the cube root of x to the sixth power if x equals 2? The answer we were looking for is four. At over 2,300 miles, what is the longest river in the United States? Anoush. The Mississippi. That is incorrect. Luray? 
Ethan? The Missouri? The Missouri is correct. Rest and Recuperation, Pride and Prejudice, Vim and Vigor, and Hale and Hardy are examples of what poetic device? Marlo? Alliteration? That is correct. All right, teams, watch the screen and listen carefully. Here's a video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch, and you must wait until the question is complete before you buzz in. Tarantulas, Black Widows, and Trashline or Weavers could be the sports mascot for which Virginia University? Annabelle. The University of Richmond Spiders. That is correct. And that buzzer means good job so far by our teams. A lot more questions to come. Up next, though, we'll meet today's players, and then they'll take on the category round here on Battle of the Brains. Battle of the Brains is always available. Find full episodes on YouTube and follow on Battle of the Brains on social. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. And here are the scores following the first toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Luray High School with 40 points. Our team from Douglas Freeman High School with 70 points. And we'll get back to our match just ahead. But first, we want to introduce you to today's players. We'll start with our team from Luray High School. They are the Bulldogs. Their coaches are Gwen Burley and Anthony Hammer. First up is Mariah Moore, who is a senior. Mariah enjoys artwork and creative writing and spending time with her cats. She wants to pursue an art studies degree in college. Next up is Ethan Romatowski, who is a junior. Ethan enjoys playing video games like Dungeons and Dragons and likes to read about history. Our team captain for Luray is Marlo, is, uh, I'm sorry, yes, Marlo Ryan, and a senior. Marlo's a member of the Luray cross country team, plays Dungeons and Dragons with a local team, and attends the Massanutten Regional Governor's School as well. And our final player on the Luray team is Jack Martin, who is a senior. Jack enjoys video games and spending time with his family and with his dog. That is our team from Luray High School. Good to have all the students here with us today. Now let's meet our team from Douglas Freeman High School. They are the Mavericks. Their coaches are Jason Abril and Orion Altman. First up on the team is Annabelle. Annabelle Nee is a junior at the Freeman High School Leadership Center, as uh, all of our students go to the Freeman High School Leadership Center here on our team today. Uh, Annabelle enjoys participating in technical theater, film club, art club, and book club. Our team captain is Katie Hall. Katie is in the 11th grade and is a junior at the Leadership Center. Her hobbies include Model United Nations, History and Human Rights Club, and playing basketball for the Lady Mavericks. Next up is Anuj Damle, who is a sophomore. Anuj is also at the Freeman High School Leadership Center and enjoys participating in Model UN, National History Day, and is a musician, plays the piano and the flute. And wrapping up our team is Holly Jan, who is in the 11th grade. Holly enjoys participating in theater, is president of the film club, and is a student in the Leadership Center as well, and plans to perhaps study the field of law after high school. And that is our team from Freeman High School. Good to have all these players with us today as well. And now it's time for our category round, where each team will select one 10-question category from today's choices. If a team gets all of its questions correct in the allotted time, they'll receive a 20-point bonus. All right, teams, take a look here today's categories from which you may choose. They are the Kennedy assassination, song lyrics, and famous possessives. And we do note that in this round, only the captains can officially answer for the team, though they may confer with their teammates to try to come up with the correct answer. And per the rules, the high score team gets first choice of category. That is our team from Freeman. So Katie, quickly talk it over with your teammates. Tell me what category you would like to play. We'll take song lyrics, please. All right. Given the name of the performing artist and a line from the song, give the title of the song. The first is Nirvana. Here we are now. Entertain us. Smells like Teen Spirit. Smells like Teen Spirit. Correct. Panic at the Disco. What a beautiful wedding, says Bridesmaid to a Waiter. I rate sins, not tragedies. I, that is correct. Megan Trainer, my name is no, my sign is no. No. Correct. Journey, just a small town girl living Don't in Don't stop believing. World. Correct. Gloria Gaynor, at first I was afraid, I, I was survive. petrified. I will survive. Correct. Abba, you can dance, you can jive, having the time of your life. Dancing queen. Correct. 
queen. I see a little silhouette of a man. Scaramouche, will you do the Fandango? Bohemian Rhapsody. Correct. Lady Gaga, ra ra, ah ah ah, ro mama, ah. <laughs> Bad romance. Correct. Bad romance. <laughs> Leonard Skinner, big wheels keep on turning, carry me home to see my kin. Sweet Home Alabama. Correct. The Eagles, you can check out anytime you like, but you can never leave. Hotel California. Correct, and that is a sweep of the category. You know your song lyrics. You get a 20-point bonus for that category. Congratulations. All right, Lorray. The Kennedy assassination or famous possessive? Marlo, talk it over with your team. Possessive. A possessive, that's generally the person owns things. So like, uh, it, it would be like Mariah's shirt. Uh, but I think uh, you're with a 50 -50. Kennedy assassination. Kennedy assassination. Okay. <laughs> Answer the following about the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. The first is the month and year of the assassination. February 2004. November 1963. City in which it took place. Uh, Dallas, Texas. Correct. Building from where the fatal shots were fired. No. Trump Tower. <laughs> that would be the Texas School Book Depository. The man who assassinated Kennedy. Lee Harvey Oswald. Name of the commission established to investigate. Uh, no. Pass. That would be the Warren Commission. Governor of Texas who was wounded in the shooting. Uh, George. John Connolly. Hospital where Kennedy died. Uh, the Dallas City Hospital. And that would be Parkland, and we're out of time. We won't get to the last questions. That was a tough category, long yeah. before you were all born. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Bill, still a big part of history. All right, that was the category round for our teams. Up next, another toss-up round when we come back here on Battle of the Brains. This week of Battle of the Brains, or want to catch up on a full season of gameplay? Find full matches on our YouTube channel. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. Here are the scores following the category round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Luray High School with 45 points. Our team from Douglas Freeman High School with 140 points. And now it's back to Battle of the Brains and another toss-up round. Just a reminder, teams will lose points for interrupting a question with an incorrect answer. The other team will then have a chance to answer. And there is no conferring in the toss-up rounds. All right, teams, here we go. What weather instrument is used to measure atmospheric pressure? Judge? Marla? Uh, barometer. That is correct. Brigadier General Leslie Groves was assigned the task of gathering the greatest minds in science to discover how to bring World War II to an end. By what name was this? <coughs> Annabelle. The Manhattan Project. That is correct, 1940s. In 1831, students at West Point financed the publication of a collection of poems by this classmate who went on to write stories like The Gold Bug and The Telltale Heart. Named this <coughs> author, Annabelle. Edgar Allan Poe. Correct. According to Norse mythology, he was the god of wisdom, war, art, culture. Jack. Odin. Odin is correct. What was the name of the first European colony on present-day Manhattan Island? Anuj. Uh, New Amsterdam. Correct. Of the 19 hijackers during the terrorist attacks of 9-11, 15 were citizens of what country? Saudi Jack. Arabia. Correct. It was an important trading center during the 1840s gold rush, became the state capital in 1854, and now has the population of approximately 445,000 people. Name this western U.S. city home to the NBA's kings. Anoush. Uh, Sacramento. Correct, Sacramento, California. Located on the lower side of the hand of the, by the metacarpals, or the first point first joint, rather, of the fingers, what is the name of the eight small carpal bones that are firmly bound in two rows of four bones each? Mm. 
Marlo. Uh, carpal bones? That is incorrect. Freeman? And that would be the trapezium. In what 1832 American war did Abraham Lincoln actually participate as an enlisted man? Jack. Uh, French Indian War? That is incorrect. Freeman? Anoush? Uh, the Mexican American War. It was the Black Hawk War. During the Constitutional Convention of 1787, debate arose over differences on how to count slaves when determining legislative representative representation. Jack. A three-fifths compromise? That is correct. Specific fraction associated with the resulting compromise, three-fifths. You may need your pencil and paper for this one. What are all the factors of eight? Jack. Two, four, one, eight. That is correct. Who was the first Whig Party president of the United States? Annabelle. Millard Fillmore. That is incorrect. Lord. Jack. John Adams. It was William Henry Harrison. Cephalalgia is a medical term for what malady? Nathan, uh, Ethan, I'm sorry. Syphilis. That is incorrect. Freeman? Annabelle? The common cold? It's actually the common headache. In thermodynamic systems, this quantity is the product of a working fluid's pressure and its change in volume, while in mechanical systems, it is the product of force and the distance through which it is applied. Name this quantity that, like energy, is measured in joules. Jack. Just pressure? That is incorrect. Freeman? And that would be work. Steve Martin's character, Navin R. Johnson, was dubbed this. It's also the act of a weightlifter pushing a chest level bar over his head and a spicy seasoning in Caribbean cooking. Name this four letter term that also denotes an unlikable human being. Marlo. Jerk. Jerk is correct. All right, teams, watch the screen and listen carefully. Here is your video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch, and you must wait until the question is complete before buzzing in. Gloucester, Virginia native Walter Reed helped eradicate this disease once he realized it was spread by mosquitoes. Uh, Anoush? Malaria. That is incorrect. Luray? Jack? Zika. Actually, we're looking for yellow fever. And that buzzer means one more toss-up round just ahead and we'll double the point value for questions. Stay tuned to see which team is today's winner here on Battle of the Brains. Love Battle of the Brains and ready for your high school team to play next season? Get in touch. Visit battleofthebrains.net to learn more. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. And here are the scores now as we head into this final round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Luray High School with 105 points. Our team from Douglas Freeman High School with 180 points. And for this final toss-up round, we're going to double the point score for a correct answer. And the penalty is also doubled for an incorrect answer given before I finish reading the question. There is no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, teams, here we go. Good luck. After being kicked out of their home, he was forced to earn a living by the sweat of his brow, and she was cursed to suffer the pangs of childbirth. To top it all off, that, and Eve. that is incorrect. I'll finish the question. To top it all off, they were also doomed to die. Name the place from which they were exiled after taking the advice of a real snake in the grass. Annabelle. The Garden of Eden. Correct. Invented in 1896, the gyroscope was first utilized to give direction to what maritime weapon of war? Anoush. A submarine. That is incorrect. Luray? Could you repeat the question? Invented in, in 1896, the gyroscope was first utilized to give direction to what maritime weapon of war? Mariah. Airplanes. It would be the torpedo. It posits that economics is a zero-sum game and suggests exploiting colonies for their raw materials. Name this theory that advocates maximizing... Mercantilism? 
That is correct, maximizing bullion holdings. It houses the oldest door in Great Britain. Geoffrey Chaucer and Alfred Lord Tennyson are buried in Poets' Corner in the South Transept. Name this church where British monarchs have been crowned and Prince William and Kate Middleton were married in 2011. Jack. The Catholic Church. That is incorrect. Freeman? Katie? Westminster Abbey. That is correct. Gaines versus Canada, Sweat versus Painter, and McLaurin versus Oklahoma are among these causes argued by what eventual Supreme Court justice whose most storied victory was Brown versus the Board of Education? Anoush. Uh, Thurgood Marshall. Correct. Who was the Roman orator and statesman executed by Mark Antony's forces in 43 BC for praising Caesar's assassins, criticizing Antony, and making fun of Octavian? Marlo. Brutus. That is incorrect. Freeman? The answer we were looking for is Cicero. Until 2018, Republican political figure Chris Christie was governor of which northeastern state? Anoush. New Jersey. Correct, from 2010 to 2018. Germanium and silicon are what kinds of materials used in transistors that allow more current than insulators? Marlo. Semiconductors. Correct. The largest of these islands, Isabella, has massive tortoises. Name the specific island group. Jack. Galapagos. Correct. You may need your pencil and paper for this one. Paul is hired for a job in which he works nine hour days for 19 consecutive days. If he is paid $9 an hour, how much money does he make? And it's $1,539. Since 1983, this quantity has been given an exact value rather than a measured one since the meter is now defined as this quantity times one second. A foot per nanosecond is the approximate value of the speed at which photons travel in a vacuum. Name this quantity. Velocity. Jack, that is incorrect. Freeman? The quantity is the speed of light. Beethoven's Ninth Symphony has established itself as one of the greatest works of musical composition. Part of its great acclaim is its chorale finale. What title or name has been given to this chorale finale? Anush. Ode to Joy. Ode to Joy is correct. In math, what is the term for the horizontal x value in a pair of coordinates? Marlo. The domain? That is incorrect. Freeman? And that would be the abscissa. And that buzzer is the end of our match. While our judges double check the final score, here's a reminder of how to stay connected with Battle of the Brains. Stay up to date on Battle of the Brains. Follow along as your favorite teams advance this season. Visit battleofthebrains.net to learn more and follow the show on social at Battle of the Brains. As we continue round one in this 20th anniversary season of Battle of the Brains, join us next week as we welcome West Point High School versus Isle of Wight Academy. And now here's the final score for today's match. Ending the match with 125 points, our team from Luray High School. Great job by Mariah, Ethan, Marlo, and Jack. Our winners today here on Battle of the Brains. Final score, 300 points. Our team from Douglas Freeman High School in Henrico County. Great job today by Holly, Katie, a Anoush and Annabelle. <laughs> and we will see them back later in the season. I'm Cheryl Miller. Thank you so much for watching and playing along here on Battle of the Brains. We'll see you back here next Saturday morning. Great match, teams. Game over. Thank you for watching Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529. Bye.